we quickly realized that being at the forefront of this pandemic, uh, we were we were very much needed by the community, right? Communications does not stop. Uh, and a lot of people were heavily relying on us. Docomo Pacific in the CNMI has been at the front line during this pandemic, bringing the better together spirit alive and providing critical communication services to residents throughout the Marianas. Our customer service team, our field techs, our mobile techs, really stood, uh, stepped up and contributed to why we were able to continue our business here um, and safely, you know, I think uh, every day is a, a learning day for us. And that unwavering commitment comes with innovations in the CNMI. Right before the pandemic, uh, we actually launched our DTV Plus, which is our, our entertainment platform uh, that, that provides cable TV to households. Um, the beauty of DTV Plus, and, and you know, we were very excited to launch this new service here, um, is because it's, it's an OTT platform, um, really relying on your home internet. And so DTV Plus kind of gives you the flexibility now, not only to view cable TV on uh, a traditional uh, TV, but now you're able to access cable TV via your mobile phone and tablet through our DTV Plus app. He says it's all about convenience and enhancing the viewer experiences, providing an HD experience. Through our, our link bundle service, Build Your Own Bundle and Save, uh, people now are able to select the different packages that um, they feel they need and not have to overpay uh, for traditional cable TV. Um, previously, you know, we, we, we pull out a full rate and that's it, right, for your cable package. Now with DTV Plus, you're able to build that. So DTV Plus uh, at the moment is, uh, we first launched it here in the cinema. And so it's available on Saipan and Rhoda. Uh, and we do have plans to introduce this and bring this to Tien as well. He says it's part of their mission to expand and keep people connected. During this pandemic, it has really motivated us even more and kind of you know, placed us on overdrive. I think uh, when the pandemic started, I think uh, a lot of us thought that, you know, uh, working from home and, and not really getting a lot of interaction in store, things would kind of get a little bit laid back, right? But we saw the opposite. And, and what, we, what we did from that is that we took the, the need that we were seeing from our community, really relying heavily on communications, whether it was home internet, mobile services, or cable TV to keep, to keep your kids entertained while, while their, your parents were working from home. And really went ahead and, 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 and took that and really um, consider, you know, how can we make our customers' lives easier? How can we make it more convenient? Um, and for those who were struggling, how could we help them in return during this time of need? Tomas Manglotnya for KUAM News on Saipan.